things are always getting better. As soon as you become positive <clears throat> to attempt to bring them up to your level eight, they'll probably do more and more to bring you down. And sometimes, haven't you wondered, sometimes some people want to bring you down and then they feel better and they elevate. They've unloaded, they've dumped their bad mood on you. So I'm not saying to come down to their level vibrationally, though to be in rapport with someone who's hurting, who's negative, is okay. As long as you chart your escape to get back up to that level. So in order to do that, as people are not their behaviors, they're not intentionally trying to ruin your day or your life even, they're just behaving in a way at the moment that's not conducive to a high vibration. People are not their behaviors. You can still love them and not appreciate or understand even what they're going through at the time. So you can be in rapport with them. You can understand as long as you're able to pull yourself back out of the hole, because there'll be a time when they'll do that for you too because people are not their behaviours. And the point of power is in the present moment. But that's the only thing we can do anything about. So until you know how to anchor a good mood, until you know what genuinely lifts you out of your shoes, because when you're down in the doldrums, it's the last thing you're going to want to do to put on that comedy or listen to that favourite piece of music because you won't be vibrating at that level. You probably just want to stay in your bad mood, just like the person you were with who wanted you to be at their vibratory level. And as the point of power is in the present moment, an awareness of you not being in a particularly good mood, an awareness of you needing desperately to cheer up, an awareness that this interaction with this person or this situation pulled you down, an awareness of that gives you the volition, the impetus to do something about that. And in doing so, you, you need to have a kind of toolbox of things that you know you personally like to do that affect you in a positive sense. It's a point of power in the present moment. So only by recognizing, oh, I'm not in a very good mood at the moment and I'm creating my tomorrow. Because the point of power is in the present moment. I'm creating my tomorrow. So rather than blaming as the NLP blame frame goes, our default setting seems to be, oh, I'm in a bad mood. I'm not feeling too good. And I know why ever since I spoke to such and such. The point of power is in the present moment and the responsibility is on us. The responsibility, our ability to respond in that present moment is ours and only ours. So you could say to the person that you're with or the the neighbour that might be really wanting your full attention on how bad life is right now, you may want to make an excuse that doesn't involve saying, I really don't want to talk to you at the moment, you're bringing me down. You may want to say, as you probably already do, oh, do forgive me, I have to go. I've got a sock drawer I need to sort out. <laughs> I've left something on the stove. You may want to do that, or you may want to help them by saying, choose your own words, of course. You know, I'd really like to listen to what you're saying. Though at the moment, there's something else I need to do. If it's a loved one, you may even want to say, you know, I love you very much. 
though I'm not going to join you in this right now. I know it's very upsetting to you and I need to do something else right now. I'll come back shortly and hope to find you in a better mood. It depends, of course, on the quality of your relationship. And they may walk off in a huff. They may react angrily. I don't know. You know. You know them better than anyone else. But sometimes you do owe it to yourself to say, hang on a minute. It's not my fight. I understand it's really upsetting to you. And you know I love you very much. So I need to walk away right now. I'm not going to join you in the hole. When you're out of the hole, let's party. I probably wouldn't say all that myself. I'm just giving you the essence of what you need to do, even on an inner level, to recognize, uh-oh, they seem to be in a bad mood. And I'm sure they're very invested in pulling me right down into the hole with them. And that's a rabbit hole I'm not prepared to go down. Because as much as I love them, I know they have the power. The point of power in the present moment. I know they have the power to spoil my mood and pull me right down into the hole because I want to help them. I want to be in rapport with them. I want them to love me. Maybe I want to expend all my energy in assuring them that everything really is all right. Knowing that they're going to try and convince me that it's not. So the point of power is in the present moment. The people are not their behaviours. But you'll be surrounded by people's behaviours and your own. So there is a responsibility, an ability to respond here to either engage with those that are at that present moment vibrating at a lower level or not engage. Find any, an excuse, yes, lying, to save face, to not upset them for whatever reasons you explain to yourself. There's a choice to engage or not engage, to tell the truth, to not tell the truth, to come down to their level even temporarily and Pull them up to stay at your level and make an excuse and join them when they're in a better mood. Because you know, people are not their behaviours. So this is how it's all interlinked. Louise Hay saying the point of power is in the present moment. The law of attraction philosophy that your present moment is creating your future. So do everything that you can to higher your vibration and the NLP that people are not their behaviours. You are not your behaviour. You're not even your thoughts. You can rise above your thoughts and get to a point of stillness if you're very good at meditation. If you're not very good at meditation, just zone out. Just allow yourself to be completely lost in sound. Of course, if that sound is conducive to a good mood to bring you up. Only you know what will return you to a positive state. When you're in that positive state, use the NLP anchoring to ensure you have a quick and easy way to re-engage with that state. Because the point of power is in the present moment. And not all of your present moments are going to be super duper level eight and above. You know you're going to fluctuate. You know you're going to be down in the doldrum sometimes. So knowing the people you could interact with, owning a friend, speaking to a loved one, being able to tell your troubles without pulling them down I mean, why would we want that anyway? Surely we want someone to lift us up, to remind us of the good times. It does seem that with momentum, with the momentum of a bad mood, with the momentum of thoughts that are not conducive to us feeling good, with the momentum 
you know, thoughts are magnetic, but one thing reminds you of another and another and another in the past. I remember when this happened before and how badly all that turned out. You know that thoughts are magnetic. So if you can recognise in the present moment, you're not feeling particularly good and that you're about to go down a rabbit hole, then you can use an anchor, which we'll talk about in other modules. You can use an anchor, some way of returning you to a more resourceful state. They'll recognise that when you are in your resourceful state, those that aren't a match to that state may not want you around or may try to bring you down to their level. You've heard that phrase before, surely. Don't lower yourself to their level. Rise above it all. People are not their behaviours. Bless them. Bless them all. Bless you. We are not our behaviours. We are not our thoughts. Though our thoughts link to emotions and our emotional state can plummet quickly. Isn't it fascinating how quickly we can change our state? Though usually it's our environment that does it to us, for us. Knowing that to be true then, we can interact with our environment, people, places, smells, touch, sight, all Aspects of our environment are there for us to play with, to engage with, to utilise, to raise our vibration. We know what brings us joy, yet in the moment of despair or upset, anger, frustration, those things just seem very far away. People are not their behaviours. And the point of power is in the present moment. And the present moment is creating our future. Let's make it the best possible future, which means taking back our power and being present in the present moment and learning to radiate at our highest level on that vibrationary scale, noticing when we fluctuate and finding ways to climb back up as quickly as possible because the point of power is in the present moment and we want our future moments to be based on Whatever we're feeling right now. You see, the future is moving, changing and evolving right in front of your eyes right now. The point of power is in the present moment. And people are not their behaviours. And you are a people too. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.